good, but I just get shredded by the Kaiser then. Okay. Pretty good damage. Oh, not good. No, she survives on one HP. I know that's not the real one. Nice, let's go. Who's the Galio player, guys? Welcome, summoners, to a brand new League of Legends video. We're playing some Galio in the top lane. I have not seen this guy in a while, in a long, long time. But we're going for a, a heart steel build, <laughs> of course. For anyone that watches my channel, will know that I like heart steel. But yeah, heart steel is my favorite right now. Um, and going against Shaco here, actually. I'm not sure what he started, but we're gonna get a little bit aggressive. He started W, okay. And we actually have Fleet as well, which should be pretty good here. Now into Shaco top lane, he's gonna go with a little bit of AP. I like the off meta pick, my friend. People are just going a little bit spicy, trying some new stuff, just like us. Unfortunately, his pick's gonna be a little bit weaker than ours. Nice. Okay, so he's going to try and be annoying here. I, I just got to wait for my E and then I there. kill him, right? I didn't ask to be this impressive. <laughs> ring a ring a rose. I, I usually wouldn't chase. I would just push the wave, but you know. <laughs> More fun that way. Well played from him, though. Oh, huh. Damn. Let's get this. Not sure how good Galio is in the top lane against uh, other real top lane champs, but he might be all right. Into some of them, just because his passive comes up quite regularly. Maybe I could have taken my W against the Shaco here when he was level one. Might have been a little bit better for me. We will get the magic shield from the... Nice. Okay. We'll get the magic seal, like I said, from the uh, W, which is really, really good against the Shaco for all of his AP stuff. It's actually Lee Sin jungle. Wouldn't be surprised if Lee Sin comes up topside now. Okay. That was terrible wave, yeah. But yeah, okay, cool. And because we're getting hard steel as well, the shield and the W actually scales. I feel like Lee Sin might be here. Hmm. Got the Talia here. We're gonna leave. I was in a bad spot. I know Talia was coming, but I still think I can. I didn't buy anything. Nice. I think I can die in that situation. I can bait the Lee Sin to come back, maybe. Way's well, pushing away from the Shaco as well, so. Okay. Could have W'd it straight away, maybe. Okay. Now it's going to be a little bit of a game of cat and mouse. The Leeson's here as well. Okay. Nice. Nice. Good flash. Let's go. I flash forward just to make sure that I can get in range of the Shaco as well. And really nice stuff. We get a blue buff for our troubles as well. Lee Sin goes down. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Fleet's going to be able to heal us up just a little bit too. Nice, nice, nice. And yeah, we're going to just work towards Heart Steel. So like I was saying, Heart Steel obviously leads going to be nice for the HP. It's going to be good. But it also increases our... Um, shield on our W because it scales off HP, which is really, really good into the Shaco and into the other champs as well. It'll be good against all of these apart from the Lee Sin. I guess Lee Sin's E is magic damage, I believe. Let's move. I've got that's right. Or if that's correct.
Nice. Pretty good trade there. He didn't queue. Oh, no, I'm going to miss this. No. Oh, I was lucky. That was lucky. <laughs> okay, let's get this. Nice. We've got our R now, so we can maybe look for some plays across the map. Maybe mid lane. Probably use it to counter uh, gank more than anything. Wait for our W to come back up. Nice. Okay, well played mid. A little bit worried about where Lee is. I do kind of want to push the wave, but I want to poke down the Shaco if I can. Unfortunately, I'm missing all my Qs. Okay, I was seeing if the Shaco would come to Emi. I guess not. <laughs> Having fun in games with this guy. Oh, he's got a trap in there as well. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, let's not chase him too much. Felix healing us quite a little bit, which is nice. I don't think he's got Q. That's why I'm going aggressive here. Oh, he had Q. Nice. <laughs> this matchup's kind of funny. <laughs> it's me just aimlessly trying to hit him and not being very successful with it. Honestly, I just want to push the wave. He definitely queued this way, yeah. Uh, not sure where Lee is. Oh, that Q does a lot of damage if I actually hit it, huh? Wouldn't surprise me if Lee was topside, so... Yeah, there he is. We kind of expected Lee up here. I should have known. I just really wanted to push the wave, but he was holding the wave, and yeah, it's whatever. We'll play Chaka. Well played, my friend. We have to clear out the wave pretty quickly as well with the W. And this. We had wards and stuff. It's just really bad play from us. We know Lee's here for sure. There's a couple reasons why as well. Uh, about a minute ago, I saw him bot side. And I didn't see him gank mid or bot. And then my jungler was bot side and he wasn't reacting to anything. So it made me think that he was bot side initially when we saw him. And obviously he cleared his camps and pathed up this way. So yeah, obviously we can ward and be like, hey, let's check if Lee's here. But we know he's here. It's just us really trying to get the wave in and being correctly punished for being greedy. But no worries. Like I said, well played to them. Capitalize on my mistake. Nice. We got a lot of HP now. I like it. Um, it says the max W second. Yeah, this max W second, huh? Do we get cooldown on E? We do. Hmm, maybe E's better. I like W second just for the shield, honestly. It's kind of rude, man. It's kind of rude, my friend. Just need to get some vision for Lee, then I can start being more aggressive again. Leeson's not down there, though. This is what's worrying me. I really want to, like, engage on this guy, but Leeson is not down there at all. Okay, yeah, there he is. All right. Good job we don't fight. Nice. Okay. An ally has been slain. Team are struggling just a little bit. Nice, did you get a kill back though? Good stuff. Okay, this guy's gonna have his Q cooldown up. Pretty much all the time. Mm. 
Mm. Nice. Get the flash auto. Pretty good. I queued anyway just in case the auto wasn't in range. I thought it would be, but... What reduces my passive? I need to have a check. Is that heart still? That is heart still. Let's go. So yeah, what reduces my passive? Nothing. Okay. Just has a 4.5 second cooldown. Okay. I think before it used to be able to be reduced by abilities, if I'm not mistaken, guys. Someone let me know in the comments. You guys are pretty good knowledge-wise. Only bad side, I haven't really used my R yet, but I do have heart still now, so we should be able to stack that up on the Shaco here. Should be good. And then I think the build said to go for Wits End. And then after Wits End, we can get the... We can get Demonic, sorry. Maybe we'll get Demonic second and get Wits End third. So Radiant Soul is 0-4, really good. Because he's going to scale like crazy. <laughs> Champs OP. The best defense is a good magic absorbing colossus. Okay. So we're just gonna get really aggressive with our stuff now. We're not in range. He's got boots, I don't have boots. Ooh, I gotta help that guy. I didn't even realize. Ooh. Some nice damage. We don't really run out of mana as well, which is pretty good. We do have Prince of Mind. I guess we just wait for heart steals, right? We don't actually really fight. We just wait for heart steals and we go from there. Once we get the heart steal up, like now, we'll just battle to get it on the Shaco. Then he'll come back, he'll E me. But it seems like his Q cooldown is just the same as the, uh, as my E cooldown, which is the annoying part. <laughs> I need boots. That's the problem here. I need boots. No, my cannon. The best I feel like that's the fake one. Yeah, it's the fake one. <laughs> this guy playing mind games with me. Nice. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying this top lane. It's a bit crazy because uh, I'm just chasing Shaco like crazy. But we run out of mana now. So the funny game's got to stop, unfortunately. Uh, we'll go ahead and reset. And we'll come back and try and do what we can. He's going to eat us under the tower, of course. If I had flash, I would have flash autoed. But yeah, we'll get the boots and then we'll probably get Merc Trades here. That's going to be really good. We don't stock up mana wise, but that's a okay. I don't mind because we get the heart still stack. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, we'll do it. It's for heart still, so it's worth. Jungler might be around, so I got to be a bit careful here. No, Leeson's bot side. Okay, cool. No. The trap just uh, hit me as soon as I... As soon as I taunted. No, can I get that? No, I didn't get the minion. <laughs> this lane is kind of annoying. But it's fun. I want to get this guy. He's obviously going to TP back. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably just leave again. Because he's going to TP. Get my boots. These are going to help me a lot. 
It went into my shield, so it doesn't stop my back. Alright, nice. Good stuff. So how much is the shield now? 287. Uh, we haven't maxed out yet. It goes up to 13.5% of my HP, which is pretty good. So we can obviously get that really high up. Give me a really good shield. After not taking damage for 12 seconds. Okay, cool. Got it. One people you have is 50 galleons. Here we go. Funny game start again. Nice. So I know it's not this one. We'll get the heart still stack anyway. I know it's not this one because the heart still started proccing off it again. Oh my gosh. He's got his. Oh my gosh. This is horrible. <laughs> uh, how long till his heart still back up? I did a while. If we can get our heart still proccing again, it'd be pretty good. Okay. Take the damage reduction. We should be okay here. There's a nice plant, thankfully. I've got my flash now and he doesn't, so... No, okay, I almost entered that. We'll get this so we get the heart still stack as well. We should be okay. Nice, we kill him. <laughs> that plant was really, really good. He's probably got quite a lot of damage from his uh, Leandries though. So we've got to be... We've got to be a little bit careful with the Leandries for sure. All right, we'll go ahead and reset. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely get Demonic here, I think. How are my AD people doing? Pretty decent, not too bad. Sorry, I haven't even looked at the rest of the game, honestly. I've just been up here having fun <laughs> with this guy. <laughs> Uh, we can come mid though. We can probably use our R. Nice play from Nami. Mm, not in range. Still walking forward because I see Zed can make a play. Nice. We go down. We don't go down. Oh my gosh, that really insult champion, man. Oh, and there's a Shaco here. Okay. We get a Relian at least. Nice play from the Slia. We have have Zed. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, that Kaiser hurt a lot. I definitely gonna need to get some armor later to be able to deal with her. I just stupidly just kept running forward, but I thought it would be okay because I thought Zed would engage earlier, but it's okay. Normally I wouldn't just run forward, AFK run forward, but it is what it is. And then Shaco is there as well. Uh, we could TP top for now. Drake's not up for a little bit and we will have ult as well. But it's like Zed's going top side, so there's no real point. We'll go bot side instead and save our TP for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this top lane, by the way. <laughs> I like to like make it a little bit more fun rather than just sitting passive. And this has been quite fun, which is good. Just running around chasing Shaco and doing our best to outplay him. And he's outplaying me constantly. Obviously, there's not much we can do because he's just... Uh, Going invisible and putting traps down. That's a terrible flash. Not sure how strong this... Okay, she looks actually kind of strong. I know she's actually kind of strong. I was like, not sure how strong she is. Yeah, no. I know how strong she is. And uh, we're going to leave her alone. Okay. Zed loses... Or Zed goes even in the 1v1, should I say. Kaiser's here now. Okay, I can come mid. Just help clear the waves. I don't have my ult just yet, so I couldn't help anybody. Nice. Nice. 
Didn't have anything else up, unfortunately. It's, Billy Hayes really seems like a good idea here. If I had more of my cooldowns, I could probably try and make more plays. Yeah, I don't know what this Lux is doing, but we'll take that free kill. Thank you very much. No, I think we just go for Drake. Um, got a soul. Oh, my gosh. Okay, nice. We should just go Drake, though. It's a bit late now. Yeah, they get Drake for free. I mean, I guess we could have done Baron. I'm on my way. They know. Why is he walking forward, though? I don't know why the Zed's walking forward. I... I... <laughs> He's saying FF, but he was walking forward as well. No. I, I don't know. That was so messy. I had my flash as well. I could have used it just to get the Kaiser there, but... I don't know. It was so messy. I need my E more often. The game is okay. It's just, I don't know why we walked forward there. Zed's kind of angry, but it's okay. It's all right. We managed to salvage it in the end. My team actually do a ton of damage. So if I can just sit in front of them, we'll be okay. We'll be a okay. I definitely need some, um, something to deal with this Kaiser. Hmm. Armor would be nice. Armor and ability haste. Maybe we go for like a frozen heart here. That'd be pretty good. That'll give us a little bit of mana. Give us the armor. Give us ability haste. And it will give us um, the passive, of course. So frozen heart seems pretty good. We got some damage now as well, though, which is nice. What should I break next? Okay. I don't know. The Zed's trying his best to get the Shaco, but he's trying a little bit too hard and he can't get the Shaco because Shaco just Qs and then he's dead. I'm gonna TP here, help my team out. Okay, it's actually pretty good. If I could just stay in front of these two, then they got a meat shield to do some damage. I don't even have to really engage and go forward unless I catch someone out. Like maybe one that were CC there might have been good, but I just get shredded by the Kaiser then. Okay, pretty good damage. Oh, not good. No, she survives on one HP. I know that's not the real one. Nice, let's go. Who's the Galio player, guys? We're good. Let's go. Who is the Galio main? That was kind of clean. We get the heart still proxied pretty good. Get the fadeaway Q with the flash. Really nice stuff there. I managed to help out our team a ton. We'll go ahead and get uh, the Warden's Mail. It's going to be pretty big. Then we can push it on the top side. 
Nice. So there we started off the play pretty well. Uh, Nami kind of got caught and we used our ult to actually knock up the Lee Sin and Aurelian Soul, which is good. Then we managed to actually do quite a bit of damage to Aurelian to force him out of the fight, but then Lee Sin kicked us away, unfortunately. Then we just kind of play as this meat shield in between Talia uh, and the rest of their team so they can get damage off. And we actually help out the Talia there by getting the W onto the Lee Sin at the end, which is good. And then from there, yeah, we proc Heart still on a couple of people. Obviously get the fadeaway Q onto the Lee Sin, which is nice. And yeah, really good stuff overall. Really, really like it. Galio seems really fun to play. Oh, I got him. I didn't get him. I thought I got him because of the... Uh... Oh, it's unfortunate. I thought I got him because it kind of flash. Like the um, silhouette of him flashed up. But anyway, we'll go ahead and start getting the Frozen Heart like we said. 4k HP on Gado seem pretty good. Pretty good. Kind of wonder why people don't play Galio anymore. I might try him as a tank again. Especially into AP comps. Obviously, he's really good. Okay. Nami's got 11 deaths, though. It's not so good. Um, We can't really fight now. We need said. We need Zed. Zed's AFK, I guess, because he's he's angry. Again and again, he says. I know. It's Just chill out, play the game, there. buddy. I didn't ask to be have some fun. It's a normal game. We do have a level three art at the moment, which is kind of good. The cooldown is still quite high, <laughs> which makes sense. Zed's back. Okay, nice. It's An ally has okay, been Nami seen. died again. Oh, it's kind of close. She almost managed to get the return kill there. I got my R. Just trying to pay attention to see if anybody... Like, if Zed R's and he goes behind somebody, I can R him straight away. That'd be pretty good. He's the only guy he's gonna be kind of in the middle of a fight, right? So if he goes and R's in, we'll get the R and Z, so we can try and make that play for our team. All right, they're not doing Baron. I'm kind of just sticking around my team. I'm not a split push champ, so there's no point in me going bot side here. We can ult him. The wall, I can't. <laughs> good idea on the wall. That was a good idea, but unfortunately I can't do anything when the wall's there. Excuse me, but which king are we on now? Uh, gotta be careful because Nami's not in a good spot. Okay. Now we're not in a good spot. Yeah, we should have left the Nami. Nami's positioning's not so great, so that's kind of our bad for following Nami there. We just gotta play around Talia and Zaya. Rough game, guys. Rough game. They will be able to get Baron out there, unfortunately. But yeah, that's kind of our fault for going in there. We just gotta sit the Talia and Kaiser. Be a meat shield for them. CC anybody that's trying to get on top of them. Let them do a bunch of damage. Almost have enough for the Frozen Heart now, actually, as well. Should be pretty good. An enemy is unstoppable. Ah, that's unfortunate. A little bit unfortunate. Probably go top side here. Be nice if these minions were able to get the tower. It was really good. And Nami dies again. Zed gets the kill back though to trade. It's pretty good. They just don't make four ways Okay. Definitely not going to be able to catch that guy. We can try. Nice. Uh, should have enough for the Frozen Heart now. So we'll just go ahead and buy that. You're going to give us three items to be good. Maybe we can actually deal with the Kaiser a little bit. I could have maybe helped 
Did Talia? No, she's fine. Okay. All right, nice. It's not easy. Okay, nice play there. Really good play from the team. Okay. I'm looking to make a flash play. I obviously can't flash taunt like you could do in the old days with Galio, but... We can play it slow here. We just chill. Go ahead and W. Okay, team actually played that really well. We gotta get out though. Yeah, we gotta get ah. I don't know, I think we should have waited for Zed. That was kind of I don't know, we're not playing it well. <laughs> we're just not playing it well. It's so rough, man. It's gonna be GG, unfortunately. Still a fun game with Galio. We get the heart still going, but yeah. Our team comes just a little bit off, and unfortunately our bot lane, not doing so well. Oh, okay. I was thinking maybe they can't do it. The Talia's up. But she's not really moving. Talia, no, you can do it. Of course she's not gonna defend, but we can hope, you know. Nice. Nami with the plays. Alright, guessing game's still over. Man, it's rough. It's a little bit sad because it's my first Gallo game in a while. And yeah, you just have people who are just kind of aggressive. Kind of seem like they're just, I don't know, running it down a little bit. I don't really like to be negative, but it is what it is. Oh. Go ahead and ult Zed here. Okay. She's gonna kill us, unfortunately. GG, guys. <laughs> GG. The game's done. It's a rough one. Not really more to say, but yeah. If you guys try out uh, Galio, do let me know, because he actually seems pretty cool with Heart Steel, honestly. Seems kind of fun. Alright, nice stuff. We don't really honor anyone, unfortunately, but we still did manage to try out Heart Steel Galio, which is the important bit, and it seemed to work out pretty okay. It would be nice to go against a normal top laner and see how we do. Uh, damage wasn't the best, unfortunately, uh, because we couldn't really just play the game, but we were more like a meat shield for our team, and Fleet actually helped out quite a little bit healing-wise, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash a like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel summoners. And I'll see you guys in the next video.